Plan Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. And if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. So, um, it's, I just woke up. It's really early. Well, it's not that early. Technically, I just got out of bed. Um, oh, there's another one. <laughs> and then, so, so I've got some bugs to release. <laughs> and they sent me 1,500 ladybugs that I released last night in the greenhouse. I'll show you footage of that, but I didn't want to leave them, um, sitting overnight because the rest of what I have are just like mites and nematodes which I've never done nematodes before so I don't even know what they look like but now we woke up this morning and there's ladybugs everywhere <laughs> I feel like I have 1500 pet ladybugs um so I've just been collecting the ones that have escaped and putting them in my Hoya cabinet but I wanted to also look at how cute they are though you guys I wanted to release, uh, they're so tiny, the camera won't even focus, the rest of my bugs with you this morning because morning is actually a really good time to do that. Um, so I have like some sachets of mites. I have, I got Amblyseus cucumeris, which are really good for um, thrips and spider mites. And then I also just got like a blend of all different types of mites to kind of cover all the bases. I've definitely been having some spider mites um, in the greenhouse that I'm constantly like on top of, so they don't really do anything, but I have noticed the thrips are, they're back. <laughs> so um, I was not about to play around with that, and you guys know that I don't like to use uh, pesticides, even like natural stuff I just don't really use. And the best pesticide is Mother Nature. So these are the good guys. Nature's Good Guys is the company that I order them from. Um, and they do usually tend to send you ladybugs with your order for free. So if you don't want ladybugs with your order, uh, I suggest that you order them on Amazon instead of through the website. But if you order through the website, they will send you ladybugs with your order for free. Um, there is a little bit of an issue. You gotta make sure, ooh, he's cleaning himself. You guys are so cute. I, um, just want you guys to be aware of oh the lights came on oh where'd you go i want you guys to just be aware of the fact that these ladybugs are not native to the northeast so you should not um let them go outside so um inside ladybugs only and we're just going to be living in a ladybug house for the next few weeks as i continue to collect ladybugs that escape the greenhouse oh god they're so stupid though and um put them in the Hoya cabinet because there are plenty of mealybugs for them to eat in the Hoya cabinet. I just don't want them flying around my apartment and like landing in my food and stuff. So, um, yeah, that's that. Let's go release the rest of the mites. I also got nematodes, which are supposed to be good for fungus gnats. I've never used nematodes before, but we've got a box of bugs and we got to get them out to where they are going to go. So I'm going to show you guys that and then I'm going to give it like a week or so and then I'll come back and let you know how everything is going. So these are my ladybugs. <laughs> They're so cute. I can't stand it. The pictures that I have or the videos that I have of them all just like running out of the bag all over the plants last night is so stinking cute but they kept falling on the floor and they're upside down so I was sitting there like saving them all for like 10 minutes but that's not the point oh did I drop one I think I dropped one where'd you go anyway let's go put these away before I murder a ladybug by sitting on it I wanted to show you um the box that comes tells you about your ladybugs the 1500 is good for a thousand square feet <laughs> How many square feet is this apartment? How many square feet is the greenhouse? <laughs> the apartment's not a thousand. <laughs> I didn't ask for ladybugs. They just sent ladybugs, okay? They like aphids, mealybugs, spider mites, thrips, and other soft-bodied insects. Maybe they'll eat the flat mites that are potentially um, in 
the Hoya cabinet. Refrigerate until ready to apply. Oops, <laughs> I didn't do that. I got these yesterday, so I'm sure it's fine. And they're all inside this box. But here's uh, the company that I ordered them from. Features good, guys. All right, let's open this up. So these ones are easy. They're slow release little sachet thingies. And I've got 10 of them in here. So I'm just going to place a couple up in the greenhouse. I'm going to put a couple around the apartment where I've seen plants that have thrift damage. So like my Mikan's. 100% David called it out. He was like, what's wrong with this plant? I'm like, nothing. And then I look closer and there's thrips on it. So <laughs> there's that. I have like cleaned it and sprayed it with natural stuff. Um, one thing you want to keep in mind is that if you've used any pesticide in the last like month or so, you're going to want to be very mindful of putting out your predatory bugs because the pesticide is going to kill them too if they eat it. So um, I do only treat my plants with alcohol and soap and sometimes like some neem oil so it's not gonna kill them bless you um yeah i'm gonna try and do this and film it at the same time but i only have two hands so <laughs> let's see how that goes okay so i got my mikens up here going across the doorway and she's looking real sad and real bare so we're gonna put one of these sachets the cool thing about them is that you could just hang them Oh, they come like kind of attached though, so that's not helpful. I only got one hand, you guys. And they're slow release. They have like a little hole where they'll come out from. They're really, really tiny. If you're freaked out by bugs, like you literally cannot see them unless you look really hard. You see them? They're so, so small. And they're, they're not harmful, so it's fine. I'm going to get one. Up there, I'm gonna put at least one in here somewhere. I gotta repot that um, Tycon and uh, you know. You don't wanna put them in any like direct light. They don't like that. So I'm gonna let it chill on my Monstera Peru there and hopefully it takes care of the problem because my orbifolia has been <laughs> real sad, you guys, real sad. So there's that, maybe I should actually put it over there. You can always move them too, like if I leave it here for the rest of the day, a lot of them will come out onto this plant and then I can move the sachet over to other plants if I want to, so. If Lord of Beauty putting out a new leaf. I did put some of the ladybugs in here, but I am going to be putting um, the mites in here as well. Probably like the, just like the, the little container of them. Okay, this video is all over the place, but I'm trying to figure out how to use these beneficial nematodes. And it looks like you actually mix them in with water and then spray them on your plants so thankfully i do have a sprayer here i just need to clean it out because i got it all clogged up with stuff um and then we can do that but these they say put in the refrigerator so i'm gonna put them in the refrigerator for now and then um at some point later i will be mixing up it's literally like powder it's just like a powder that you mix into the water and then you spray it on the plants and these are supposed to be good for fungus not larva because I am so tired of clapping gnats <laughs> and like so is my boyfriend he's getting a little a little fed up <laughs> with all the gnats and I just had to let him know that they're not all gnats and some of them are thrips that I've been seeing flying around because they are smaller and they fly faster and a little bit more erratic so they're a little bit harder to catch than a fungus gnat and if you do catch it you'll notice that thrips look different their wings lay like flat on their body it makes them look like more elongated i call them little turds they look like little turds <laughs> so i'm gonna throw these in the refrigerator don't tell anybody that there's bugs in the refrigerator and i'm just gonna put out the sachets for now because 
the ladybugs, you guys, are like the great escape up in there. And I, I don't want to um, get up in there just yet until they're a little bit more settled. They do tend to like settle in on the plants eventually. And then I'm going to water everything and put out these other beneficial, the beneficial blend. Um, this one has Amblyseus cucumeris, Amblyseus whatever the other one is. Like it's got all the different types of mites in one. So if you're unsure, um, this is a good way to go. But I think that for beginners, the sachets or satchels, whatever the hell they're freaking called, sachets, <laughs> I think they're easier to handle because you don't have to like actually come into contact with any bugs. They're just like you hang them on the plants and that's good. So I put like four of those up in the greenhouse and I'm going to put some more just like around the apartment and then I will update you guys um I don't know in a little bit when everything is said and done and I feel like I have something to update you on I'll show you how I do the nematode thing I just don't feel like doing it right now so <laughs> there's that we'll do it at some point today though so it is a Saturday and I'm trying to just like relax a little bit today because yesterday was pretty crazy, but um, there are plant chores to be done, like taking down this dead plant. <laughs> it's fine. Everything is fine. Um, yeah, so that's my story. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, fam, so I'm up in the greenhouse. Well, I'm standing out front of the greenhouse because I wanted to show you what's going on in here. I've got my mites that I'm putting out and I've got um, nematodes. So I'm gonna turn you around, I'm gonna show you how this gets applied. Okay, so for nematodes, you actually mix it with water. It's like, I think it's just like larva. It's literally a powder and you're gonna want some sort of like sprayer to do this with or you can just mix it into your water and water your plants with it. So that is what we're gonna do with that. And um, there's a lot of dead ladybugs on the floor, so just ignore that, it's fine. <laughs> I did put out my other mites here and then I didn't get any of the release boxes. The fan is blowing directly on me, so it's probably really loud. So I just kind of like sprinkled them on the leaves here like this. I don't know if you're supposed to do it this way, but this is the way that I'm doing it. So <laughs> this is what it looks like. I've got um, all of that going on, but I'm going to water my plants with this nematode stuff. And um, yeah, and that's, that's pretty much it for releasing the bugs in here. Look at this pink princess leaf you guys i know i show it to you every time i'm in here but <laughs> it's so pretty so yeah and my tie my tie con put out this new leaf isn't it gorgeous all right well that's not the point the point is um we're releasing the bugs oh dean oh dean look at that new leaf um, yeah, so and then we're gonna have to do like a major cleanup in here <laughs> But I'm hoping to get everything squared away in here today so that we can just leave this closed for the next week and trap the ladybugs <laughs> in here so they stop escaping Because it's it's becoming like a full-time job trying to keep them Where the plants are so a lot of work still to be done in here lots of things need to be repotted but um this is what we're doing first to make sure that everything is nice and healthy. So there is that. All right, let's do this nematode thing.
Okay, hi fam. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Hey, plan fam. Um, it has been about 10 days now since the last time I saw you and since we released all of the ladybugs, the nematodes, the mites, and I wanted to give you an update and just kind of conclude this video. Um, the update is there's a lot of dead ladybugs everywhere. <laughs> so I'm probably not going to be getting ladybugs again. They came free with the order. Um, but there's still very, very many alive ladybugs, which is nice. And it appears that my plants are doing pretty well. We're going to take a little peek in there. Um, I need to water everything, but I'm not going to do that right now i'm just gonna take a look and see how everything is doing there's a ladybug over here can i put you back sir i don't know how they keep getting out i really really thought i sealed it up good in there but anyway let's go check on the situation inside the greenhouse okay so as you can see there's still plenty of ladybugs going on in here. I've been trying not to open this up. I watered everything and then I just kept it nice and sealed in here. So it doesn't look like things are like dying to be watered right this very second, which is nice. Um, I did release tons and tons of mites too. I just put some like out on the leaves because I didn't get the boxes, uh, the release boxes. So if you do order the mix of predatory mites, I recommend getting the release boxes. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to come and check out how things are doing in here. See all the cute ladybugs. Um, I do still have my mites hanging over here and I am able to see you probably can't see, but I'm able to see some of them on the outside of this sachet, I think is what they're called. Um, I can't, I can never get it right. <laughs> and um, so that's a good thing. That means that 10 days later, they are still coming out. They are slow release. So there's that. You can see I have some on my silver sword. I have another one hanging off of my absolutely stunning pink princess over here. Uh, my Tycon, this newest leaf, is gorgeous. Do you see it? Try not to open the door too much because I don't want the ladybugs all flying out. But everything is looking pretty good in here. Um, new Dean McDowell leaf came out. Do you see it? Stunning absolutely gorge love it how's my pasta doing i actually need to pull these props out and see if anything's ready for the website pasta is still working on that leaf hasn't done anything new um patricia looks like she's ready to pop out a new leaf finally which is nice this one's been struggling a little bit since i've had it so yeah six nine six eight six is working on another leaf my Epipremnum Marvel is looking good. We've got happy, healthy ladybugs that I'm going to definitely like, I think I'll probably turn the humidifier on tonight maybe just to get it nice and moist in here for them. And then I can water everything tomorrow. I'll do some plant chores in a video with you guys um, this week for sure. So stay tuned for that. But I just wanted to update you on how uh, the predatory bug thing is going this ladybug is so small it won't even focus on it but um it's going well as you can see we still have plenty of happy and healthy ladybugs a lot of you have been asking me like how long do they last you're gonna have a lot of die off you can see the ones on the floor here but that does happen relatively quickly you just have oh go excuse me sir this is not your home go back to your home Oh, no, they're flying out. Okay, I gotta close this. We're like really trying to escape. <laughs> and I'm trying not to have a bunch of ladybugs flying around. It hasn't been bad. There were like the first few days, there were definitely a lot of stragglers, but 
now I see one like maybe once a day if that so if you're worried about that just make sure that you have like a s space where you can close it um I need to clean this this is dirty the plastic but anyway um yeah I think that the nematodes are doing what they're supposed to do in the soil hopefully I haven't seen as many pests flying around so I was seeing fungus gnats and thrips flying around um fungus gnats are larger they look more like little mini flies and they fly a little bit slower and like more deliberate and thrips they have a different body shape their wings like lay flat on their body so they kind of just like like little turds i say because they're just like these long like black little bugs they're smaller than fungus gnats they fly faster and they fly more like erratic so definitely if you're seeing that and you're seeing like this doesn't seem like a fungus gnat you're gonna want to put out sticky traps and take a look and see what you're catching um i do have an old video if you guys are interested in watching that where i like literally treat my whole entire collection because i found thrips for the first time and i do show you what they look like on the sticky traps compared to the fungus gnats and a lot of people found that really helpful um, a lot of people still watch that video uh, I used captain jacks in that video which is not something that i really use anymore because it stopped working but now we have our mites so i look so tired in this lighting this is really bad but anyway <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna go through these prop boxes and see if i have anything ready to go up in the shop tomorrow tuesday april 4th so stay tuned for that and um hopefully some hoyas are ready to go up and uh that's it for this video i'll leave nature's good guys linked down below for you guys i recommend ordering from their website over amazon they ship really really well and like just you get better deals and stuff buying it directly from them um yeah so that's it i hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and all of my thousand ladybugs <laughs> um if you did you should give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me there's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam get yourself some perky perks uh if not there's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me everything is appreciated you know that i love you and i cannot do this without you it makes me so so happy every time i get the notification that i got a super thanks um it means a lot to me so i'm gonna stop talking and um let me know if you guys have used these beneficial bugs before if you have any questions about which type you should get for whatever pest you're having if you're having a hard time identifying a potential pest like let me know i will try and help you try and come to the live stream tomorrow night tuesday night april 4th at 7 p.m eastern standard time i will be answering your plant questions so if you have any of them that is a good time to get them answered live <laughs> be able to chat with me and other people other plant fam uh members and stuff like that so you don't have to be a member though not like literally members anyway i'm talking in circles the live is for everybody <laughs> and everybody can chat the whole plant fam everybody not just members so i mean members do get their perks in the live stream as well but that is not the point i am going to stop talking <laughs> let me know if you do order any of these you guys know i'm a huge advocate for natural and organic pest prevention and stuff like that so this is definitely my way of one of my ways of keeping my plants healthy and thriving and keeping the pests to a minimum because there's always going to be some when you have this many plants but um obviously we want to keep them to a minimum and obviously i'm not trying to pass them along to anybody else so that is it for this video if you buy plants from me you might accidentally get a ladybug <laughs> in the mail with your hoya 
See, like this guy. What are you doing? You gotta go back to your home. I love you, fam, so, so very much. And I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.